So the question came up, how do you scale Postgres? And this is one of those questions that leaves a massively open-ended answer. Um, without knowing more specifics, it's basically impossible to answer precisely. But oh, let me tell you, there's a lot to this answer. And let's get into that. There's two key types of scaling with any type of database. First off, there's horizontal and vertical. Just to cover the basis here. With horizontal, we're talking about adding physical hardware or, or more virtual machine hardware or whatever it is that scales from a horizontal perspective instead of a vertical perspective. With vertical, we're adding hardware or resources in the sense of very specifically the CPU, the RAM, and the hard drive. Uh, so we run into the physical limitations of whatever the current technology can provide. With the horizontal scaling, we tend to be able to scale out and we don't run into the hardware limitations because we can keep adding additional nodes or additional databases or something like that. With a database like Postgres, since it's a relational database, there's certain ways to scale in both of those options. So of course, with the vertical scaling, it's, it's pretty straightforward. One of, the, one of the most immediate things you may need to do is to increase the processor or the RAM or get a bigger hard drive or maybe multiple hard drives and then split out where the database stores those database files. So that seems pretty straightforward. However, when we start to scale a relational database like Postgres horizontally, things can get complicated really fast. The first thing when scaling out horizontally that one might do is to uh, just double the database for performance reasons or something like that, where then you load balance between the two databases or geographically disperse them for redundancy. But if you're looking at actually increasing in more of a linear fashion, then you're looking at prospectively a solution like say Citus, where they manage in the background sharded data for you so that you still write and read from the database pretty much just like it's a regular relational database with relationships and all of that. Now, if you have to go to the degree where you need to shard the data yourself, then you have to break the relationships and disconnect some things so that you can shard the data across multiple databases and then have that uh, balanced in some way with the application or whatnot where it knows which database to go for what. So you basically break the data apart then and store some in another and some in the other databases. In that sense, you may divide it, say, alphabetically or through some type of category separation or whatnot, and that way you can shard out the database and grow it linearly across a horizontal spectrum and still use those pieces of data and whatever storage mechanisms that you have going on within that Postgres database. So those at a high level are your first steps for vertical or horizontal scaling. There's a whole plethora of other options and down in the description of this video, I've added a number of links and written a short blog entry that will link you to a lot of blog entries that dive into some of the more pedantic details about how to scale your database. So hopefully this is a great kicking off point and you can get started with what you need to do to scale your database for your applications. Cheers. Happy scaling.